This is Zani and Hondu, two rescues that we got from the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation in South Dakota. They were abandoned when they were very, very young with 17 other puppies and pulled out of a big trash dump. And they were very afraid, and this one showed his fear with aggression, and especially around little kids and other dogs. And they were very, they knew what I was trying to train them to do, but they were kind of stubborn and they were very bad and on the leash with pulling. And after four sessions with Jeff and the collars, they picked it up very quickly. And we had some kids over yesterday with this one and this one, and it went fine and they met the kids and there were no problems, no aggression issues. Uh, we walk, take walks in town. There's cars, there's other dogs, there's people, there's everything. Uh, walking is a pleasure. There's no pulling on the leash. They picked that up really well. We went on a hike on a wooded trail uh, just yesterday. And I let them off leash and they learned where their safe bubble was very quickly, stayed within the bubble, came back immediately every time I called them. And since the first early days when they learned what the stimulation on the collars was, we've done very, very little of that. So I am not one to gush, as I was just telling Jeff, about new things or new methods or the latest and greatest thing. But this has been amazing. And I highly recommend it, I will recommend it. And I know there are a lot of people that have preconceived notions about electronic collars and that kind of thing. And I just want to say these, these guys are much happier now. I'm much happier now. We hardly use the stimulation, but it's there if you need to. It's there for reinforcement. And it's one of the best decisions I've ever made. So this, this pack of three right here is going to be 